Good morning. How would you like to ruin the devil's day? Today we're looking at Mark 14 to 29. And when he had come to the disciples, he saw a great multitude around them and scribes disputing with them. Immediately when they saw him, all the people were greatly amazed and running to him greeted him. And he asked the scribes, what are you discussing with, with them? Then one of the crowd answered and said, Teacher, I brought you my son who has a mute spirit, and wherever it seizes him, it throws him down. He foams at the mouth, gnashes his teeth, and becomes rigid. So I spoke to your disciples that they should cast it out, but they could not. He answered him and said, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him to me. Then they brought him to him, and when he saw him, immediately the spirit convulsed him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed, foaming at the mouth. So he asked his father, How long has this been happening to him? And he said, From childhood. And often he has thrown him both into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said to him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, Deaf and dumb spirit, I command you, come out of him and enter him no more. Then the spirit cried out, convulsed him greatly, and came out of him, and he became as one dead, so that many said, He's dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he had come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? So he said to them, This kind can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. Now the father urges Jesus to help him if he can. From early childhood, this boy has struggled with demon possession. The father urges Jesus, If you can do anything... Please help him. And Jesus replies, and his reply is so very important to us. Remember what Jesus said in his reply. If, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. That's the key. And so he says, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. With tears he says it. We wonder sometimes why we have struggled, why we struggle to get victories in our Christian experience. Well, how many times do we plead with God for faith with tears? Maybe not so often. And maybe that's one of the reasons why we don't see the victories we want to see in our life. So what we have here is Jesus is telling us, if you can believe, all things, all things are possible if you can believe. Can you believe? Can I believe? That's the question. We need to come to Jesus and be believing because he is ready. But we're not ready. We need to draw closer. Now there's no lack of power on God's part. The issue is our faith. Faith is what connects us with heaven. And so we need to be exercising it. We need to learn the science, if you will, of exercising our faith. We need to know by experience, all through the year, all month after month, week after week, day after day, what it means to, to exercise faith. And when we know that, we'll see, we'll see powerful results because it won't be our power. It'll be God's power coming down and giving the results. People enslaved by the powers of darkness are, are waiting for words of faith and prayer so that they'd be relieved, so that they'll be released. Why aren't we giving those words? All of us should lean hard on Jesus for this faith. And if we struggle, we should pray, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, you are so good to us. All undeserving, you still come and you promise to give us help and power. Lord, we believe, but our belief needs to grow. Our faith needs to increase. Lord, we believe. Help our unbelief. Lord, help us to seek it. Seek it with tears. And Lord, you deliver us by your mighty power. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. I wonder if you would commit to this. If there's someone you know, surely there is someone you know, who is in urgent need of God's help, would you put that person on your prayer list and pray for them day by day? Pray for deliverance from, the, from their challenges. Pray for deliverance for their spiritual situation. Do it all week long and see what happens. Pray for them. Let them know you're praying for them. God will bless. There are the keys right there for victory. Let's be all in and see, see what happens. God be with you. Have a wonderful day.